okay? So what we're going to do is going to walk past and I want her to leave all those things because out on a walk your dog's going to be moving and doing it as well. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Here. Leave it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so because that's a harder challenge, yeah, so I'm going to put the lead back on because she obviously got one there. It was just too difficult, yeah? Okay, so that's okay though. It's just, it's just a learning process. So we're going to go again. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. So now I've got the lead. So it's just in case. Leave it. Ah, leave it. Good girl. So I could pull her up then. Good girl. Leave it. And you always pick them up. Okay? Always pick them up. Don't don't let your dog go and get them all in the end because that's not leave it, that's wait. She obviously wasn't ready for that one, but that's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. Leave it. Good girl. But you can up the ante, you know, you can do this with chicken or cheese, something really difficult when your dog gets better at it. She does know this game already. She's obviously not ready to just be free rein and walking, that's too hard for her. So you can see where she's at with this. A lot of dogs, a lot of dogs are absolutely desperate to go and get it. Okay, that's what we find a lot of dogs. And that's why you need the lead and you need to put yourself in between. And make sure you've got something nice to give them and distract them from it. If your dog's really zoned in on it, make sure you've got a higher value food in the other hand and just wave it in front of their nose and, and physically you know, walk them away from it so that they get the idea of the game. Because it can be a difficult concept at first, can't it? Good girl. Leave it. 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 Good